Welcome, I'm Jerry with Genesis Rescue Systems. A couple key points to keep in mind when evaluating rescue tools. First one, ergonomics, which is balance and weight. Second, controls. How do we control all that speed and power? Third, the ability to fracture boron and cut ultra and high strength steels. Fourth, NFPA 1936. How do we compare those cutter level ratings? And most importantly, practical shear performance. Ergonomics are an important factor in any tool evaluation. The weight of the tool means nothing if the tool is not properly balanced. Having a properly balanced tool mixed in with good engineering equals less firefighter fatigue. If you'll notice on all of our Genesis cutters, our handles rotate 360 degrees with the ability to remove it if you're anticipating a confined space, tunneling evolution, or just need that little bit of depth to finish that cut. Now let's see how we can control all that speed and power just with our fingertips. All Genesis tools operate with a patented variable speed push button control, which utilizes all the fine muscle movements of the finger versus a twist grip, which encompasses all the muscles of the forearm, which is a gross muscle movement. Utilizing a fine muscle movement allows you to work with precision accuracy in and around the patient. Not only is the push button control easier, but it's also safer. The ability to work from an overhand to an underhand grip greatly decreases the risk of pinching your hand between the tool and the car. The most important item to consider on today's vehicles is the possibility of running into some type of boron or ultra high strength steel. This type of steel is being utilized more and more by vehicle manufacturers and can pose a significant problem when extricating a patient. Here at Genesis, we have recognized the urgent need for more powerful cutters and have responded not only by producing some of the strongest cutters on the market, but also testing each and every one of them to the latest boron and ultra high strength steels. This ensures rescue personnel of reliable performance during real life extrication. Boron capability is a designation we give to a model of cutter that has been successfully tested on some of the toughest ultra high strength steels used today. Right now we currently have several different models of cutters that have successfully cut high strength and boron steels. I invite you to learn more about this topic by visiting our website where an entire video devoted to boron capability. Maximum cutting force is not an NFPA 1936 number. Why? It is not a legitimate number because it is a calculated number subjective to how far the blades have moved from open to closed. At fully closed, such as this cutter right here, the force is at its maximum. Well, you say, what's wrong with that? Well, the blades have moved a good two inches past each other, so the cutter would have already cut whatever it was cutting when the blades just touch like this cutter here but the max cutting force is less here. This is what we call usable cutting force. This is what we call unusable cutting force. NFPA recognized that cutting forces were meaningless, so they came up with a scale of practical cutting performance based on how a cutter actually performs on different sizes and shape steel. Keep in mind, this is done by a third party testing agency done in a laboratory setting, each and every cutter is subject to the exact same test in the same fashion. You can take the NFPA 1936 cutter performance levels and compare one cutter to another, apples for apples. Well, we've covered ergonomics, push button controls, the ability to cut boron and high strength steels, covered NFPA 1936 cutter performance levels. Now let's see some practical performance.
On behalf of Genesis Rescue Systems, we want to thank you for viewing this video. And if you want a further demonstration on any one of our products, please contact your local Genesis dealer. And always remember the cardinal rule, be safe.